보여주면 안 될까? Oh goodness, that's loud. <laughs> uh, hi guys, it's Nameless. That uh, the one you must not recall. That's the game. That that's not me. Holy crap! <laughs> it's Micah, and welcome to another Otome game that has dolls. Uh, and I just kind of noticed, but the this title screen only has the boys that I have installed within the game. So I'm thinking that if you add more boys, maybe they'll appear on the title screen. I'm not entirely sure though. Uh, don't quote me on that. Also, I'm just gonna make sure that the options are still how I want them. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Sounds good. Just needed to double check that because uh, uh, there were voices at the beginning and I did not understand what they said at all. Probably because it was in Korean, I think. I think it was in Korean. But, um, yeah. There's, there's not a load option, which I think to be very odd, but maybe it'll just go to where my last save is. So, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll start. Oh yeah, here we go. It just automatically goes to the load screen. Oh, here we go. Okay. Right, we just got introduced to the boys who had turned into dolls. Or they were dolls, and then they turned into humans, but then they still have the empty shells of the dolls on the shelf. And it's just their souls that turned into humans? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I guess we'll figure it out. Tay reheated the food that went cold. I was so used to having breakfast by myself. What just happened? I picked up my chopsticks and looked around the table. I can't get used to this. Of course, there's nothing to complain about being surrounded by cute boys. Lance eating quietly in his usual tidy self and adorable Yun Ho munching the food like a hamster. Red showing... Red shouting how delicious everything is every time he puts something in his mouth and Yuri delicately handling his chopsticks. And Tay is like a father, delighted at everyone enjoying the food. All of them were sitting at this table. Is this really where I live? I couldn't believe the sight in front of my eyes. Living with these people from now on. Is this really not a dream? I live with these awesome guys. As reality suddenly hits me, I feel excited. Hold on, so you guys remember everything that happened when you were dolls? Mm hmm? He looked like a squirrel the way he chews with a mouthful of food. Yep, of course. The first day I met Master, the first time you saw me, saw, blah, 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 blah. the first time you bought me clothes. Okay, okay. I thought it was the first time you saw me put on clothes or something like that, and I was like, uh, what is coming out of this innocent boy's little mouth? <laughs> oh, I'm being called. All right, so where was I? Oh, right. The first day I met Master, the first time you bought me clothes, I remember everything. Not only that, I remember what my honey was wearing, what you were wear what you were eating, and all of that. Oh god, that sounds creepy. Could you please not call me that? Me, me too, I remember that. Oh right, speaking of clothes, what happened to that? To what? You know, home shopping? You were watching the TV and screamed that you had to get something. A pu push up something, wasn't it? Did it get here yet? Oh no, you're talking about a push-up bra, aren't you? Oh my god, what's he saying? Show it to me when it comes. I'll check if it's okay for you. Ouch! You perv. Lance kicked Red in the shin. Red clutched his leg and started rolling around. Are you talking about the white-laced one? Hmm, I prefer a more... Well, there's nothing that doesn't suit my honey. I don't quite understand, but I'm sure Master will look good in everything. I want to see it too. <laughs> oh god. No. Not from the most innocent one here. No. Yunho looks at me with his innocent smile. Ah, uh, no. Since when? Since when did you guys have you guys been observing me? Okay, okay. I understand your shock, but calm down. Want a want a warm cup of tea? Since when did they see me? Huh? Did they see me when I played with dolls in my own fantasy world and when I ran around with just my underwear on? Hmm, I need to remind you. What? Um, so... <clears throat> um, I think it best if you wear clothes around the house. 
What? What is he talking about? I'm wearing clothes right now! Ahem. <clears throat> uh, you never know when a visitor might come, and especially refrain from taking off, uh, your bra just to get comfortable. Ahem. <clears throat> Lance avoided my eyes while speaking, and his ears were slightly red. Aww, you're so cute. <laughs> Except for the fact that you're telling me that you've been watching me change my clothes in my bedroom. And walking around the house naked, pretty much. Except for that. And listening to that, my ears must have gone ten times as red. Now that I think about it, you once threw it at Lance and he was buried under it for a while? Oh no! Even for Lance, he's pretty cold-blooded. That was a bit shocking. <laughs> you need time to get used to those things. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That's a traumatizing thought. Oh. And not just because I feel bad for Lance or anything. It's more like I feel bad for the main character. Because like... All these attractive males who suddenly became human after being dolls have seen... All sorts of stuff, because she thought they were inanimate objects, and it, they're not now, and they, they remember everything. Tay adds with a smile. Yuri and Tay are quite the couple, even though they don't seem so. They connect through such weird things. Lance starts frowning. <laughs> He's so unhappy. <laughs> hey, you've been acting weird. Are you sick? Red stopped rolling around in pain and suddenly put both his hands on my cheeks. I felt his big calloused hands wrap around my face. I instinctively cringed and backed away at the first touch from a man. It's embarrassing. What? You... Why are you so surprised? Do you not like me? Aw, oh, don't pull that shit. Don't. Huh? No, 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 that's not it. It's just a little awkward having a guy come up to me so naturally. I'm just not used to it. Uh, I was about to open my mouth to say anything to clear up the uncomfortable air. It was at that moment. She must have thought you were going to hit her. Oh no! What, punk? Hey, why are you picking on me today? You obviously need a taste of Red's lethal moves today, don't you? Lethal moves? What the hell is that? Nevertheless, I'm relieved to see Red get all worked up again. The air has been cleared. You looked a bit gloomy before. Did I see it wrong? The weather is clear because of the rain yesterday. I think it would be nice to let the air out, and to get rid of old dust as well. Are you ignoring me? And why did you look at me when you said dust? Oh, right, I forgot. I cleaned the house a little before you woke up. It, it's, it's okay, right? Oh, I helped too. I moved the things on the floor to over there. Uh, I wanted to ask you when you woke up, but I couldn't wake you up from your deep sleep. Wow. They really did it. I was too surprised to notice everything before, but the living room was indeed really clean. All the cleaning tools I'd taken out to start cleaning, and the dirty clothes were all gone. I wake up to find the house cleaned and breakfast ready. They must be my fairy godmother. Dolls cleaning and cooking. No one will ever believe this. Now, stop chatting and eat up. It's going to get cold. Everyone starts to move their chopsticks at Tay's words. Ugh. <sighs> hey, master? Yes? Now that I think about it, Yun-ho always calls me master. Don't worry, we will never do anything that harms you. I promise. He must have thought I don't trust them. Somehow I start to feel sorry at seeing his nervous face. It's nothing like that. Of course I'm surprised, but I'm not worried. I'm actually really happy. Now I can eat with you like this. It's really like a dream. Master. Yun-ho threw his tiny body into my arms. Although since we were sitting at the table, only his upper body was in my arms. You know, I will really do anything, if it is for you, so from now on, be with me. <laughs> that's too cute! No, that's- no, that's not allowed, okay? You can't- you can't make me feel feels, that's not okay, I already- I already specified that that's not okay when it came to one of Pi's streams. Like, no. No, man. Instead of replying, I stroke Yunho's head. Yunho sits straight again and beams. Aww, look at that cute face! 
peace, though. God damn it. I'm going to get invested and something bad's going to happen. That's always what happens. All the rest of the boys seem to be looking at us, but they soon turn their eyes back to the food. It is actually a bit surreal and nerve-wracking. Nothing is going to be solved just by worrying, so for now, let's just think about the things right ahead. Hmm, let's see. Right now, the things ahead are... Food. Let's eat food. Just as someone will plant an apple tree even after the world ends, I have to go to class even after my dolls come to life. Okay? You can never just run around. I'm supposed to be living here by myself. If you don't be careful and the old man upstairs, no, I mean, our principal sees you, then we're going to be in big trouble. In the upstairs of this mansion lives the principal of Crowby Academy. What? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait one minute. So, you're telling me that this mansion has multiple different levels, and one of which was for you and your grandpa, and the other is for the principal of your fucking school? Why? 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 Why do you have the same house as your fucking principal? That doesn't make any sense. How the fuck do mansions work in Korea? Cause that's not how they work in fucking Canada. At all. Or at least not from my understanding of them. Uh, uh, okay, jeez. I say he's the principal, but he's an old friend of Grandpa. Okay, see, that makes more sense. He often saw after since. He often saw after me since I was little, so I feel like I have another grandpa. What? Do you mean he often took care of you just as much as your grandpa did? Because I think that's what you're meaning. Oh, I... okay. Because he lives upstairs, my parents must have let me live by myself. I think they stay in contact. So if he finds out about this, things will get serious. Don't worry, we're not little kids. Leave this place to us. Don't worry for even a tiny bit. Red, you worry me the most. It hasn't been long since we barely stopped Red from trying to patrol the neighborhood after breakfast. Leave the kids to me. I wish I could go with my honey, but you please do understand the little devils that keep us apart. You understand, right? A few moments ago, I was getting ready to head out when Yuri suddenly came up and grandly announced he was coming with me. If Tay and Lance hadn't stepped up, I'm scared to think what would have happened. You know, Yuri, I think you said the same thing when you received that voice fishing call. He already has a face that sticks out, but the way he moves makes him more noticeable. I'm having doubts about whether I can really leave these boys here. Ugh. <sighs> Anyways, I'll be back. Hey, wait, Master! Yeah? I was about to pass the living room and head towards the front door when Yunho stopped me. He came towards me, stood on tiptoe, and gave me a peck on the forehead. Oh no! Stop being so precious! Stop it! No! Oh my goodness! Oh, you're too cute! That's not- no! No! Stop being cute! Like, you're basically like a little itty bitty boy, and I can't- that just- I don't wanna- uh... God! Also, I just noticed, but this dandelion picture is used in the actual dandelion game, and I just realized that. <laughs> uh, nothing will ever make me stop thinking about dandelion as I play this game, because they're just too similar. Mwah! Oh god, no! Don't do this to me! Yun- Yunho? It's my way of saying goodbye. You always used to say goodbye to us every morning, and that you'll be back. Every time I thought of something, if- Every time I thought of something. If I could move, then I would say bye to my master. Be back soon. So, I tried it today. It's more embarrassing than I thought, but I really wanted to do it. <laughs> Aww, you're so fucking cute. I can't. I can't handle this. Stop it. He's gonna become my favorite. I'm gonna end up going after him. And like, it's just cause he's too precious.
Yun Ho. Oh, were you offended? Oh. No. I unknowingly hugged Yun Ho tightly. His small and warm body was in my arms. Ah, uh, he really is so lovable. I'll be back, guys. They were listening to that. They were listening to that goodbye I always said without knowing. I thought I was alone ever since Grandpa died, but there were ones who looked after me by my side. I suddenly choked up at that thought. You will be late. Be careful. Watch the cars when crossing the street. You have a tendency to be clumsy. Lance must be worried too. Yes, now that we have a body, shouldn't we all see our owner off? I never worried. I know, I know. Now, let's go up to the front door. We can't go outside, but this won't be a problem, I hope. Tay looked at me for approval. Oh, all right, all right. A colleague is being dispatched. Of course we have to see her off. Now let's go. Red grabbed my wrist and was about to burst out the front door any minute. What? Well, wait! I want to say I'll go with you, but I want our own quality time. Not with those kiddos. I'll pass. Don't be too disappointed, my honey. There is an infinite span of time and opportunities ahead of us. I wasn't disappointed. Be home soon. Meanwhile, I'll take a bath. It's only morning and I've moved too much. I'm tired. Yuri stretched and headed down, headed towards the bathroom. Lance, who didn't seem so keen, was pushed by Tay to come see me off at the front door. It was the first time someone saw me off after Grandpa died. Ah, uh, I feel a bit tickly. Sorry we can't go outside. Have a good day, Master. Be careful. Aw, thank you. Get everything done in a second and hurry back home. I'll be waiting. I'm not... Excuse me, I burped. I'm not going to eat until you come, so if you're late, I'll get mad. Okay, okay. I say bye to the boys and turn the doorknob. At that moment... Are you heading out? Oh, no. Okay, ran into the principal. Grandpa... I mean, Mr. Principal. It just happened that at that very moment I was about to open the door. I caught eyes with the principal heading out. Oh, no. What do I do? Behind me are healthy boys standing in line. And not just one, but four. This was serious. <laughs> nice energy. It's good to be energetic. Yes. Are... Are you heading out already? It's quite early. Hmm? Is it? I always come out at this time. R really <laughs> Anyways, it's odd. We usually don't meet in the morning. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> Since every morning I barely make it to class on time, I never knew when he headed out. But who are the kids behind you? Oh no! Oh no. Caught red-handed. I knew he would ask. Of course he would. Four guys in a house a girl lives alone would naturally seem strange. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, they are c cousins. They're my distant cousins from my dad's side, and they're studying in Korea from this year. I quickly put forth Yunho. Uh, Africa. His parents are in Africa, so he came to Korea first by himself. Um, y yeah, he didn't have a place to stay, so he's staying at my place for a while. Isn't that right, Yunho? Huh? Oh, uh, y yes. At that moment, the animal food chain I learned at biology class yesterday flashed through my mind. I can't believe I just said Africa. I regretted it as soon as I said it. The principal knew most people in my family, so he was not going to believe a cousin who suddenly appeared out of nowhere, and especially since I said he's from Africa. In one word, doomed. Hmm? Doomed. I am doomed. Alright, how good of you. You've come so far to study distances, no obs- You've come so far to study. Distance is no obstacle for one who desires to learn. What? Hmm, so the rest are the same? Huh? Oh, yes. P pretty similar. Oh, look at me. I'll, I'll introduce them. This is the son of a cousin's friend. This is the son of that friend's in-laws. And this friend here is the son of in-laws' cousin. Someone please shut my mouth for me. The more I speak, the more my words become a mess. Have you all come to Korea to study? Yes. Uh, Alright, how nice. It's best to learn as much as you can when you are young, if you have the chance. He... He believes me! Now that I think about it, when I was young, there was a time when you couldn't learn it even if you wanted to. Let's see. While being happy at him believing my story, he stared at Ren, unraveling his old stories as he always did. When he starts to tell old stories, he never stops. Sometimes he tells them to us during the assemblies, but does he know how old the kids drown? 
drown in despair when that happens. I'm used to it, but I think it's a bit harsh to have a three hour long assembly, Grandpa. And now he was about to start his story. Grandpa, um, I have to head out soon. If he moved on to tell old stories. If he moved on to telling old stories, does that mean he really believed me? For now, let's just get out of here. Oh no, I've lost myself in my stories again. Okay, why, why don't we go to the school together as an apology for taking away your time? I have my car waiting below. Get in. Uh, all together in the car? What? What did you just say, Grandpa? Why are you so surprised? If they came to stay at your place, weren't they going to enter the academy near here? Yes, that's... that's true! No way. Isn't ours... isn't ours the only academy nearby? This is good. I'll go with you and help with the paperwork. Ah! Isn't there a saying that says, give him enough rope and he will hang himself? The lies I've made to cover up the crisis right in front of me has led to a bigger crisis. To the academy with these four? And with the principal too? Dear God, what did I do to deserve such suffering? I suddenly remember the time I bailed out of class cleaning duties to buy Crobadol's Cro newly released doll outfits of their showroom. At their showroom. I can't believe Karma is acting up like this. I can't do this. Even if I misunderstood, I have to say that I just brought boys to my house. I'll say they just came to hang out. Of course, you might find it strange that they slept over, but they look tidy, so I can just stick to it. It's better than taking them to the academy. Yes, of course it is. Um, Grandpa? Yes, what is it? Honestly, what happened is... the noise from that I figured from the noise that you guys hadn't left good my honey let me ask you something this shampoo is it for damaged hair the water drops glistening on this slender shirtless body made me feel dizzy under his waist was a single towel barely covering him up at that moment Tay and I used all our reflexive muscles to block the door dear god I will never bail from cleaning duties ever again I will live my life as a devote nun so please tell me Grandpa did not just say this! There's no reason, no more reason to be shy. We've already seen everything, so don't be embarrassed and open the door. Open. Shut up, shut up! Uh, what was that just? Gra Grandpa, I'm so grateful that you would give us a ride. Wow, this will be so comfortable. Ha 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 ha! There's no place better than our academy around here, is there, guys? You, go, you guys all are really blessed. Ha 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 ha! Now, let's go! Hurry, hurry, Grandpa, you too! M master please wait we are master oh my god what are you saying oh you mean that animation we saw yesterday what was it called was it no love for even a phony hipster stuck in junior high the main character shouted like this dark flame master <laughs> hey what's gotten into you did you eat something wrong i think she's really sick she must have been surprised how fast we were able to transfer now let's go we'll be late for class tay was the only one who understood thanks tay you're the only one I can count on. <laughs> you cutie. You don't have to be in such a hurry, but anyways, just before... Wow, why do I miss the classroom so much today? I just feel like studying right now. Before anyone had the chance to say anything more, I forced Grandpa and the boys into the car. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, jeez. I've always said that I hate the way to the academy, but today I was genuinely serious. <laughs> okay, first you should write down your personal information. There were white forms waiting for us in the principal's room as soon as we arrived. Personal information? Wait, can they even write? If things go bad, I'll just have to say they live abroad so they don't know English. Oh, you all write really well. They know how to write. Now that I think about it, Tay cooked and Red watch TV. Did they acquire basic information necessary for daily life along with their human bodies? I don't know what exactly happened, but this is a huge relief. I peeped at their handwriting. Their handwriting showed all their individual personalities. 
Lance's handwriting is smooth like it's written from an expensive fountain pen, and I see Yunho trying hard to copy Lance's cursive writing. Tay's flowed so naturally that I ha that I wanted to make it into a font, and for Red, uh, I'll have to say his grammar is weak since he lived abroad. Hmm? You all don't have addresses, and you also need a legal guardian's permission. Can you call them? A legal guardian? We totally missed that! Yep. Our age dictates that we still need a supervisor for everything. What do we do? I can't have my parents be their guardians. They are likely not reachable due to the time difference. I will contact them later on and ask them to fax the permission forms. Thanks to Lance's quick response, we avoided immediate trouble. Thanks, Lance. I secretly put my thumbs up when I caught his eye. Hmm. Ugh, no need to ignore me completely. Okay, alright. Parents' permission is absolutely necessary, so that would be good. Here, I'll give you the contacts and fax the number of the academy. And the fax number of the academy. Thank you. So I'm afraid you'll- you will all just have to go back home today. Really? That's such a relief- or I mean shame! Ah, such a shame! Ha ha ha! Guys, let's go. Get up, up, up! Look, are we really going to go here? Wow, I'm like nervous. Am I going to be in this great adventure with you here? Um, is it really okay if we go to this academy? It hasn't been long since Master told us to stay put, but now... I know. Well, since it happened, it will be tough to turn it around. We should start preparing for the worst. Could there be something worse than this? I think this is horrible enough. I cannot believe I will have to be around humans with that dumb idiot. My head hurts from merely thinking about it. Ugh, my head hurts too. Thankfully, since it's early morning, no one's passing by the principal's office. I should first send them back. They stand out more now that they're all together. They have to go home before weird rumors start to spread. Especially the moment Zoe sees them. It'll be hell. Ugh, you guys go home first. I'll be there as soon as school ends. Don't get distracted and go straight home, okay? What? Now? No, I'm already here. Can't we just look around a bit more? Don't be like that. Master, we'll head back now. Don't worry about us. Thanks, Yunho. Tay, take care of the kids. Alright, don't worry. See you later. We should go now. I see people coming. I hear whispering from afar. We should hurry. Oh, but there's one problem. What? What problem? How are we going to get back home? Oh! We shared the cab in the principal's car on our way here. Okay, no other choice. I'll have to send them back by cab. My allowance. I'll have to survive on ramen for a while. When the never-ending class is finally finished, I went back home as fast as I could. We barely ate dinner, and now we're in the living room holding a crisis meeting. <sighs> if you sigh one more time, it'll be your 46th! No matter how much I think, nothing comes up. The principal gave us four days for the boys to hand in the permission forms. They need to find a guardian in four days. A legal guardian isn't going to just fall from the sky. Uh, it hasn't even been a single day since I found out that my dolls came to life. But before I could even gather my thoughts on that, a bigger crisis happened. About these boys turning human, I'll think about that after we solve the matriculation problem. Right now, it's more important to figure out the entrance process. If you sigh, happiness will run away. What? Before, Master turned to us and said that... You said if you sigh, happiness will run away, so you'll try to smile. Did I really say that? Yinho really seems to remember everything about me. Happiness can't run away. Follow me, everyone. We'll catch the runaway. Whoop! <coughs> Red's cheeks blow up as much as they can and quickly shrivel back to as they were. I smirk at seeing him be foolish. Now you smile. What? You were so serious just until now. You didn't smile even for once after you came home. I didn't? I must have bothered them without knowing. If we can't find a guardian, we'll leave this house, since it'll make things difficult for you if we stay. Alright, we will hide ourselves and come back later when things have improved. We can't be with Master? As soon as he hears we have to be apart, Yunho's face falls. I feel bad to see him like that. Wrinkles don't suit that cute face of yours, my honey. Don't worry, I'll be here for you. What? I'm not a student, so I can stay in this house. Let's get those dull boys out of here and have a wonderful life just for the two of us. <laughs> Lance pinches Yuri's arms that were about to go around my shoulders. You will leave as well, of course. Do not make things worse. It is almost because of you that things ended up like this. Because of me? I have no idea what you're talking about, and I'm the only one who wants to stay here. I want to live with my owner. 
It's none of my business what the situation is like. I'm going to stay with this fellow here. I won't listen to anything otherwise. Everyone becomes silent at Yuri's words. Darn, why is this so complicated? Guardian Schmartian, we'll just make one. I don't want to leave. There are so many things I want to do. Hey, I'm staying here too. Whatever. I feel the same way too. I've never been apart from Master even when I was a doll. Oh no, he started crying again. Being stubborn will not solve anything. Now, now, don't get emotional, people. Calm down. We now know how we feel. I don't want to leave this house either. Yuri's right. She's our owner, and it's natural we want to be by the owner's side. The problem is that in order to do so, we need a guardian. We're back at square one. Just make Yuri the guardian. He's not a registered student. He could just he could just be the guardian. Probably. Should I call my parents? No. If I call them, they'll be flabbergasted and immediately take a flight back to Korea. And besides, even if they do help, they'll just be a proxy and not a legal guardian. Oh, Yunho blushes and points at his growling stomach. Yunho didn't eat anything, saying that he'll eat when, with you when you come home. Uh, I think I'm suddenly getting hungry. Now why don't we eat, first eat something and then think? Yeah, in any situation, eating comes first. We might think up of something if our bellies are full, so fight on! Red cheerfully pats me on the back. So we're going to eat first. Good. Now that we're humans, we can fully enjoy delicious meals. Please think of lending a hand before you eat what has been laid out for you. I don't need to go through all that trouble for eating with dudes. Of course, if it's a meal just for my honey, then things would be different. Huh. Oh, goodness. Alright. I'm gonna end it here. I've probably gone on long enough. So, uh... I don't know why they're just not making Yuri the guardian, because he could easily be the guardian. <laughs> and that would allow him to leave the house, considering the circumstances, and like, you know, have a job, get groceries. Except I don't really see him doing any of that. <laughs> I could see Tay doing that, though. Tay seems like the more responsible one. Yuri's just kind of there to look pretty. And he... And, well, and for other things that are not precious to say that are not good to say in front of precious oil Yunho, so we'll refrain from that <laughs> so yeah i guess we'll see what happens next question mark <laughs> i don't i don't know what will happen i'm very i i don't know we'll see we're still in the prologue so we'll figure it out anyway i'll see you guys later bye